and welcome to another episode of GSC at Home. My name is Katie and I work in the planetarium at the Glasgow Science Centre. This means that I usually do my stargazing in our big 15 metre planetarium dome. Right now though, I'm doing it in my backyard. And today I'm going to show you how to make something to help with your very own backyard astronomy. Now, here on Earth, when we visit a new place, what could we use to stop us from getting lost? That's right, a map. A map is a picture representation of a new place. Roads, parks, even important buildings and landmarks are included. Now, sometimes when I look into the nighttime sky, it feels like a new place. And I don't know where to see anything. I feel a bit lost. And that's where our planisphere can come in handy. A planisphere is a star chart that shows us what we might see in the nighttime sky and where we might see it. And the coolest thing about it is that it moves. Just like our Earth traveling around our sun in an orbit, our planisphere moves in a circle as well. It needs to move in a circle because as our Earth travels around the sun, we see different stars and different constellations. So our planisphere moves to show us these as well. Over the course of a year, each night, there are a few more stars visible in the east and a few less stars visible in the west as they set down past the horizon. Each night, the difference is very small, but over the course of a year, it makes a huge difference. Meaning that in summer and winter, we see different stars and different constellations. So let's make ourselves a planisphere so we know what we can see in the sky tonight. You're going to need a few things before we get started. First up, you are going to need the planisphere printout from GSC. The most important parts of this are our viewing template and also our star wheel. Next up, you are going to need some scissors so we can cut these out. You're also going to need a pencil and some blue tack or something soft. And you're also going to need, ideally, a split pin. If you don't have a split pin, you can use a drawing pin or a paper clip, anything that will hold our star chart or our planisphere together. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the different parts of our planisphere. First up, we are going to cut our star wheel and our viewing template out and our key as well. Now, you might want to pick up some glue so you can put your key onto the back of your viewing template just there is a perfect place to put it. Now, after we've cut these out, you are going to first fold along the dotted line on here, on your template, on your viewing template, just like that. Next up, we need to make a hole for our split pin to go through. This is where we will need our pencil and our blue tack. What you need to do is put the blue tack behind and then you use a pencil and push it gently through the whole mark on our viewing template just there. We use the blue tack so we don't hurt ourselves and we don't need to press too hard with the pencil either because we don't want to rip our template. You're also going to need to make a hole in our star chart as well and we're going to make it through our north star. Our north star is right in the middle there. Again, just put the blue tack behind and use your pencil to push through that hole there. Next up, what you're going to do is you are going to slip your star wheel inside the viewing template, just like this, making sure that the stars are on top. Then you are going to use your split pin or your pipe cleaner or your drawing pin and put it through both holes to fix the wheel and to the viewing template. And there you have it. You have your very own planisphere. 
pretty simple, wasn't it? Not only is our planisphere nice and easy to make, it's also easy to use as well. If we take a nice close look at it, you'll see on the star wheel there are months and days. And then on the viewing template, you will see times. All we need to do is match up the day, the month and the time. And then we can see in the viewing window what we can expect to see in the nighttime sky. Now, if I take May the 1st as an example, I need to turn it to say midnight when I'm going to go out and see the stars. You can see just here that I've matched up approximately the 1st of May with midnight on the bottom there because we are in daylight savings time. And if you look in the viewing window, you can see all of those stars and constellations that I can expect to see tonight in the sky or on May the 1st. Now we're in springtime just now, which means it's the perfect time to see our plow or our big dipper. And you can see it right in the middle of our viewing window there, which means in the sky it's going to be nice and high and really easy for us to see. Now the plow or the big dipper is what we call an asterism. It's not quite a constellation, but it does make a recognizable shape in the nighttime sky, so we call it an asterism. Thank you so much for watching GSE at home today. I hope you had fun making your planisphere. I also hope that you have a lot of fun going out and using it to view the stars in your very own backyard. Don't forget we are practicing social distancing, so when you are out, please do stay safe. Have a good one everybody and we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of GSE at home.